All right, guys, so one of the important features that you are need going to need this year and uh, need to know how to complete is how to upload images into Google Form, Google Doc, um, different things that we may ask you to take pictures of your work because this is still a math class, so you will still be writing on paper. This is just a tech text document or a quick form that I made like a test document um, and it it's a Google form which you will see a lot in your math class um, it only has one question it says upload a picture from your laptop it's just a test this isn't a real question it's just one I made to show you how to do this well in order to upload a, a picture um, from your laptops so you're going to have to upload a uh, <clears throat> from your device you can't actually save anything to your device, so you'll have to upload it from your drive. But first, you need to know how to even take the picture. The way, the easiest way, the easiest thing for you to do to take pictures is to open yourself a Google Doc. So, you'll open a blank Google Doc. I'm going to title this Google Doc, uh, Test Pictures, because that's what I'm doing today. So I want to take pictures and insert them. I haven't taken any pictures with my laptop, but I'm going to need to take pictures from my laptop so I can upload these images from a test or a quiz or anything that I need uh, that my teacher has asked me to upload. So you're going to want to go here to insert, select image, and then you're going to choose where it says camera and you're going to hit camera. Uh, it's going to pop up and say Google Docs wants to use your camera. You need to hit allow. Hi. Okay, so as you can see, my image myself has popped up. So I'm going to take a picture of myself to insert it into this doc. So, geez, not the best picture, but this is for... Okay, so I've got one picture. All of our pictures, though, may not be pictures for of yourself like Miss Herring and her terrible selfies. However, we could say like insert a picture of um, of math work or a math document. So you may need to insert image from your camera and I'm gonna pop up again. But this time I'm gonna hold my test paper in front of the camera and as you can see I can only get a couple pages a couple pieces so I'm gonna take a picture okay I'm gonna hit insert oh I messed up let's undo that when I go <laughs> I have to select it see I'm actually kind of glad I messed up because now you'll know what I did so camera See, these are all the images I've taken right now. I need to select the one that I just took a minute ago of this piece of paper and insert that one. There we go. But this only took a picture of my top two questions. This is an old homework from last year. So it only took pictures of question one and two. So I need to make sure that I have all of the questions and there's four questions on this test. So I'm gonna have to insert image from my camera. I have to put my paper back in front of my camera and kind of center it real quick and take a picture then I'm going to select it from the side and hit insert okay so now you can see I've got multiple uh, pictures in this one document okay and it has saved to your drive because we saved it as test pictures um, you want to make sure that you look at each of the pictures that you have uploaded and that they are readable. Like if I can't read what you wrote, I can't give you any credit for the work that you were supposed to do. So I'm going to go back to my Google form because this is going to happen. This is going to happen today. The whole reason you're watching this on the scavenger hunt is at the end of this scavenger hunt, you will fill out a Google form that will require you to upload a picture and this will be how you will have to do it. I'm going to add a file, not upload from my computer, from my drive. Okay, and Ms. Herring has a ton of stuff in her drive, so hopefully we can just scroll down and it'll be 
right there. Okay, and here we go. It's in my recent files. I'm going to select it. It's going to upload that doc right there, and then I can hit submit. When we take tests and quizzes, um, there will be times that you're going to have to write on paper and you're going to have to take pictures of the work that you did to complete. Also, if you're working from home and you prefer not to type um, on one of the activity sheets or something that we are using that day, you can absolutely, if you have access to a printer, you can print it out. You can do all the work and scan it back in or take a picture of it, but you will have to upload these images just the same. Um, and turn it back in. Okay. All right. See.